Hello and welcome back to Let's Try It. We're trying Castle Grey Ride. This is in uh, collaboration with the Game Development World Championship, which is a site you can check out new indie games as well as uh, to compete if you're a developer with other games and potentially win some prizes. And uh, keep provided by them as well as uh, Sawworm Games. Thank you very much, bud. This is a, uh, as I understand it, a roguelite boss rush RPG, which seemed like a cool concept and I wanted to check it out. And it is also pretty early in development, so keep that in mind when things uh, inevitably go jank. Commander, welcome. You honor us with your presence. Your arrival means that we are going to destroy the great evil that lurks in Castle Greyrod. Ellipsis. You're not talkative. I respect your decision, so care, care to give us your name? Uh, Commander's good. That's a great name. <laughs> Let me escort you to our operations hub. Hey, wait a second. Ambush. Ugh. So, a slime. I was expecting something greater than that. Even the weakest enemy can be a threat if you're not careful. Let's eliminate it, Commander. All right, so what What are we doing? Ah, it is our turn. As you can see that as the indicated turn bar has filled up. We're gonna do a slash on the slime -o. We did some damage. They did some damage back. We're gonna wait. And uh, as, from what I saw in the trailer, you get like a, an assorted party of different heroes that you can then equip with different kinds of equipment and level up and they all have abilities and stuff and it seemed like a cool idea. Um, reinforcements, Commander, we need to be careful. As the enemies appear, appeared in battle, you notice an elf rushing towards you. There we go. There's our second uh, hero. I guess you need my assistance, happy to help. Great to see you again, Cleric. Is that his name? Cleric. Um, a cler as Cleric joins the party, Warrior has learned Wide Slash ability. Okay, so we can do Wide Slash. Some skills have unique tag tags such as Reuse 5. It means after using that skill, you need to wait five turns. So it's got a cooldown. Turn is calculated by all party members and enemies' average agility. All right, that's all the basics you need to know. Now you are on your own. All right. Very, very quick tutorial. Uh, we're, we're taking quite a bit of damage now. So they can do a bludgeon. We could also heal. We should probably heal at some point. That, that slime is almost dead. I don't know how to do this uh, wide slash that I had. I don't know if maybe uh, that's something I have to um, equip them with. Let's do some healing magic on the cleric. Oh no, not the cleric, sorry, not the cleric. No, not the cleric. Let's do a counter guard. Let's see what ha what that does. So they did fire and it didn't seem to hit us. That's good. So let's do some more healing magic on the warrior this time. There we go. And we're gonna do, let's try field arts. Oh, I see, this is, this is where wide slash is. So we'll do wide slash and that is predictably going to do a wide slash and hit both slimes. Um, we'll just do a normal attack. We probably want to focus fire on one thing at a time so that uh, we have less things attacking us. It seems we only do 66 damage normally, so maybe a wide slash is actually worth it. But we can only use it after three more turns, so we can't we can't be very liberal with our wide slash. It's a, it's a normal slash for us today. All right, we, may, we should start doing some heals because the cleric is starting to lose some health and we're gonna need it back off cooldown before the warrior dies. Do another heal on the warrior. Keep thinking that the, the warrior is the cleric for some reason. I played a lot of combat clerics, okay? Um, yeah. We'll, we'll keep smacking away at them. Is that it? That is it. We did the perfect amount of damage to kill them. What a great way to get to know each other, right? I prefer somewhere serene. Nevertheless, welcome. What is this font type? That's a that's a weird one. I know that's a bizarre... Uh, I wouldn't call it a criticism, but comment, but observation. We've arrived at our main operations hub. Feel free to explore. So, Chapton's Provisions. This looks like a feature that is maybe not in the game yet. This is where we keep our food supply. Each food type has a unique benefit to our party. Experiment with different combinations. All spent points are re refundable. 
Um, <clears throat> so these seem to all do nothing. Oh, I, I see. The, the more we add, the more they do. So we can spend a point to get this. So why don't we add a point to agility since that seems to dictate our turn. Uh, and then we have memory. Oh, this is our save. So we'll, we'll save. Um, all right, so we'll just like jump into another chapter. Do my eyes deceive me? You are that famous commander. What brings you here? Oh, Castle Greyrot, isn't it? Let's not bother commander with your pointless question. Silence is the only answer you'll ever get. That's true. Boss, we haven't been properly introduced. I'm the one and only talented member of the Sorry Company call me Thief. That's a that's a good name for someone who looks like a thief. Highly praising yourself, are you? Uh, I'm going to skip ahead. Select Castle Greyrot on the top of the menu. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. We're selecting it again. Uh, all right. It's good. All right, we, we select the first level. There you go. Pick three classes and then press continue. Well, we'll try the thief and we'll do the cleric and we'll do the warrior. Sounds good. They all have different stats, which I'm sure are uh, all gonna come into play at some point. Most skills have two variants, press A or B to swap them. Or not A or B, alpha or beta. <laughs> um, we can check their equipment. Our members, including me, need equipment. Let's search Cra Castle Greyrot. Okay. Um, all right, we're good here. We don't need to. Let's let's just carry on. Um, do we have to check everyone's equipment before we? Are we satisfied? Yes, I think I am. All right. I have taken note recently that I think this kind of like crossroads way of choosing or making the player choose what kind of um, situation they're going to choose next is, is kind of played out. I'd like to see something different in the future from like anyone. Um, some are doing different things, but I, I've just seen it a lot. Basically since Slay the Spire, it's been in like every major roguelite uh, or even, you know, card based game. All right, so let's see poison coating. So is this gonna be something we, okay, so we're buffing ourselves. There we go. We're gonna hit the enemy. I do appreciate the kind of like uh, hand-drawn look that this game has. Shield slam, that did quite a bit of damage. So now we have a poisoned weapon. Of course, this is a skeleton. Uh, it seems like they are poisoned. You wouldn't think that an undead uh, would get um, poison. Ooh, blessing of the castle. They got a super ability that they used. Their defense is up. So we don't have the poison anymore. So poison takes two moves to uh, initiate, basically. All right, we're gonna continue smacking away at them. Backstab. Not done yet, mortal beings. That thing is talking, not for long. By coming here, you are digging your own grave. Unholy castle gray rot, hear me. Don't let them purify you. Everyone, let's not waste any more time. Charge. All right. Uh, does anyone need healing? I don't think so. So we're just going to continue smacking. I'm sure um, maybe in the future we're going to get more choices, but right now it just kind of feels like we're attacking. Um, there's only the one enemy, so there's no point in doing like a wide slash. I guess I could look at some of the other battle arts. We're definitely going to want to do... Oh, what is this? Recover 30% reuse. Okay, so we can do this for free. So we, let's do that for free. And let's do field arts. Oh, we could do f first aid so we can actually heal with the, the warrior. Sure, let's do that. Oh, I guess she heals, she only heals herself. Well, I wish I'd use that s literally a second later. So this kind of takes me back to like, you know, some JRPGs, but it's got more of a, a roguelite flavor to it and a bit of more of a, um, it's got some replayability in mind. Let's heal up the thief. I guess the main question is uh, how are runs going to differentiate, differentiate each other? Um, like if I've played castle like done the main dungeon castle gray rot how is the second and the third time i play the same dungeon going to feel different from each other it can't just be like i do more damage this time 
You have noticed that there is a huge golden chest across a room. It's your first item in Castle Greymore, and you have no idea what's inside. What should you do? Well, one of these seems to indicate that I can just take what's inside, and one of them indicates that I need to pick the lock. You f your party found a health potion. Okay. Solid. Not a lot of choices to make. It seems like this first dungeon is very simplistic in nature. Today's curse is health drain. Each something something, I missed it. We're, we're fighting a zombie. Let's do a poison coating. Looks like we don't get to recover our health between combats. So we're gonna have to heal, spend a, time, uh, a turn to heal the cleric and then let's do a field arts first aid on uh, herself. Wow, cleric almost died. We're gonna do a poison attack and we're gonna heal again. And then we're gonna start smacking him. This is going to take a while. It seems like every single time... What are the shadow arts? We haven't really seen this. Um, invisible. Luck up. Agility down. Swift stab. Speed share. Um, let's try a swift stab. We're going to heal the thief with the cleric. Healing magic. Seems that did quite a bit of damage. Um, they heal themselves. That's kind of unfortunate. We don't have enough. Oh, we, we can't do that because it's got a cooldown. So let's do speed share. So this is going to raise everyone else's agility up. We're going to want to heal. Actually, let's do a free cast for the thief. We we'll probably want to use that whenever we can. We are not doing very much damage. And we are taking a lot of damage. Okay, we want to heal ourselves. We might actually run into a situation where one heal doesn't actually give us enough. Okay, well that's that's not good. Let's use uh, a health potion. We're gonna use a heal with a health potion, and then we're gonna heal ourselves, and then the warrior is also gonna heal themselves. Okay, um, and we'll continue hitting them. I'm, I'm hoping that the enemy does not heal themselves all that often, because that would be a little bit exhausting. I should try a counter guard. See, what, well, the thing is, is there's three targets. So if I use a counter guard and they don't attack, I'm assuming the counter guard is going to do like a counter attack when they strike. I'm not sure though. What does light do? does it some damage but we should basically just always be healing at this point <laughs> feast okay my flesh it hurts i must feast all right feast time um so feasting is happening right now We're just going to continue smacking away at them. Feast time. All right. I'm a little bit concerned. I guess the warrior can heal themselves. I maybe should have used that heal on the the cleric. Are we also poisoned? This is not going well. The cleric may very well die. We might want to use some items. Okay, they're poisoned. This is good. We do something wide slash. I don't know if wide slash is really. I wish I'd, I. I don't really understand what it's trying to tell me about the wide slash. It says one hit attack times four, maybe? I don't know. Is that good? Is that better than normal? I should try it, I guess. Um, let's do like a magic guard just to see what happens. They're healing themselves again. I, I must say I'm not really keen on that like it just it just feels like it's kind of arbitrarily extending this battle this combat a little bit shadow arts can we do a swift stab no we can't let's do a stealth that at least maybe limits the the targets that the uh, enemy can hit 
Then we could do a counter guard. So they hit the warrior. I don't know what counter guard did. It didn't seem to do much. I'm just gonna let the warrior heal themselves. Continue hitting them. Oh, that was a, quite a bit of damage there, I have to say. Maybe I should do an inspire buff. I'm just trying different things, honestly, to see what happens. Let's uh, let's heal. Actually, we'll do a free cast heal on the warrior. Um, I don't know if stealth really did much. We'll do a speed share. Why did the warrior take a bunch of damage just now? That seemed a little weird. We're gonna heal ourselves. Actually, what I'll do is I'll inspire us, and then I'll heal as the cleric. Oh, well, never mind. The cleric's gonna heal themselves. Okay, can we do... We can't do a swift stab, unfortunately. So let's just do a normal stab. Okay, now... Oh, we don't have enough mana to heal. Okay, so the... The warrior is in quite a bit of danger right now. I guess I could have used an item. That would have been smart, huh? Um, all right, continue smacking them. There's a maybe a chance here that we could win. Okay, we're out of mana, so we're gonna start using healing potions. Just spend a lot of time healing ourselves rather than like fighting the, the, the monster. Oh, we they missed, that's nice. And we missed, that's not nice. Um, there's a good chance the thief is gonna die very soon. Oh, no, they missed, nice. Fantastic. Oh, I see. They're taking uh, damage from poison. Um, we have remedy. Removes all ailments. I'm never a huge fan of the whole, like, poison and then you have to use an antidote thing. Because you gotta, like, spend a turn to, like, basically stop taking damage. Alright, well, the thief is dead, but we did win. Nice. You see an anvil. It's your chance to craft a tier one equipment. Are you ready to test your luck? Craft an equipment. Shoulder armor. Raises HP, attack, defense, agility. I appreciate that this is only a good thing. I, I've played quite a few games, it seems, recently where um, you get a piece of equipment and it's like, it's good except for the fact that it's awful. <laughs> and it, it does only bad things in, in, uh, in addition to doing the one good thing. So we gained plus one provision, so that means we can... Um, we can upgrade our stats a little bit. The food um, kind of aesthetic seems like very arbitrary. It seems like we're just um, basically increasing, increasing our stats. We'll do five agility and I guess plus 10 uh, max HP. Or that's MP, we'll do HP. We could do extra strength actually, that would be nice. Um, all right, so then what is the next is it only Castle Greyrot that we have? I mean, the game is early, so I understand that there is basically the only, only the one. Oh, but we have a new part of the dungeon to fight. It looks like there's a lot of heroes planned. So let's try the wizard this time. We'll try the wizard and the, um, we'll do wizard cleric warrior. And I'm going to, um, See if I can't. Let's let's put that pauldron. Our members, including me, need, need equipment. Let's search across Castle Greyrot. Okay, but I'd like to put the pauldron on you, and it doesn't look like I can. Where would I put? How would I do that? Yes, I, I understand that. Um, what's what's the deal here? Equipment. Uh, I, I don't I don't know if I understand. I got a piece of equipment. How does one put it on a warrior or a, or on a hero? I'm gonna I'm gonna back up all the way for a moment. Um, got feedback? Mm, maybe. Okay, it seems like I cannot equip it. Maybe that's not something that is implemented yet. If I can implement it, then it is not obvious to me how to implement that. 
so um yeah a bit a, a bit of a problem there a little bit yeah i don't know okay so i'm not gonna worry about it we're just gonna we're gonna do one more combat here and see how it goes are you satisfied with it? no i mean no i'm not really I, I wanted to give someone the equipment but target medium today's course is needles your enemies have thorn state does that mean i take damage when i attack them that's gonna be a problem nice uh, design We've got a glitchy effect going on here. So we have magic missile, and then we have elemental damage. Thunder. All right, let's do some thunder. That's a nice chunk of damage. They seem to be hitting us pretty hard. They can not only hit us hard, but hit two, uh, two of us pretty hard. We'll do a free cast on the wizard. And then we're just gonna do magic missiles. That does very little damage. They're channeling. Uh, I'm wondering if at a certain point things are gonna get to a, like an untenable state where we can't actually progress. Summon ghost. Oh no, if they summon a new enemy for us to fight. A ghost, yeah I see that, I see, no, oh no. Okay, so that's not good, we're gonna we're now taking damage from two different things. I, I still want to focus strike the uh, the main the main lad here. This is uh, oh life drain. Okay, let's do a life drain because then maybe we can get some health back. Yes, we can. And they have summoned a new enemy for us. Um, let's do a magic guard. See what happens. We'll do a field arts wide slash. That's actually useful now. I have a funny feeling the warrior is going to die, which would not be good. Although we, we made it to be able to heal the warrior. Nice. Okay, the wizard is just dead. Um, that sucks. I'm hoping they recover before the end of the round. All right. Um, I, it seems to me I cannot win this. Okay, I managed to kill them, but now do I have to kill the ghosts as well? Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be a problem. I was kind of hoping that they, they would just kind of give it to me once I killed the main character. And I'm at a point now where I can't heal quickly enough to make up for the damage. So uh, I am just gonna die. All right, game over. But your journey is far from over. No, I'm pretty sure it's over. I am pretty sure that the game is actually over and the journey is over as well. I think it is. I got an achievement for that. That's good. Some NPCs and names are directly from the previous game, Shattered Hourglass. Maybe I'll check out Shattered Hourglass. Maybe uh, I'd like to see what what uh, some of the world looks like um, in a, like to put it bluntly, more complete game. Um, it may have been a little bit early premature for me to to try this game, but like here's here's where I'm at um, You know, I am under the uh, belief and philosophy that any game has the potential to be really good um, It just all comes down to execution I feel like this game is early enough in its development that I can't really judge it Basically at all. I don't know what kind of game it's going to be in the end because it I don't yet even really see what kind of game it is um, as it stands right now it feels kind of limited in like how I attack my my agency as a player is not really there I, I can heal or attack I have different attacks but they all kind of come down to just attacking so I don't really know if I have a lot of choice or agency as a player which isn't necessarily a good thing um, that being said, uh, I, I think that there is obviously potential here for a kind of like almost JRPG roguelite uh, with, a, you know, boss rush mechanics. Um, I think that there could be something here, but I, I, I'd need to come back to it probably a year or two from now when it's more complete. Um, no, no offense to the developer, and I hope that they take um, some of my criticisms with good faith. Uh, still, I am, um, you know, grateful for the opportunity to try this game. Uh, and I want to thank Sawworm Games for giving me that opportunity as well as the Game Development World Championship. 
um, for the co collaboration. So um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, you maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.